Over January, my back squat increased significantly, which was good. I've been wanting my squat to improve for a while now. I'm pretty happy with my snatch. It's feeling pretty good. Um, still, hang snatch is a bit tricky for me. I'm getting better at it, but it does seem to change my brush a little bit. And when I go to a heavier weight, it kind of seems to throw it off just a little bit. Off the floor, snatch feels pretty good, but I'm still getting my hang snatch comfortable. My clean and jerk has been improving, which is really good. Uh, at the start of the month, I think it was still quite uncomfortable and foreign to me, um, particularly getting my elbows up quickly. I'm starting to feel like I can sort of brush it up and then go into that immediate squat, which is obviously important when you're doing a heavy weight. Um, still, I know I need to get my elbows up a lot faster. Ricky keeps telling me, elbows up faster, so I need to work on that. I'm wanting to start increasing the weights a little bit more now hoping for the end of February to have maybe a 70 kilo snatch and a 80 kilo clean and jerk, maybe a 115 kilo back squat, 110 front squat. I'm still the amateur and I can't quite think of what a good goal is, if it makes sense. Like I don't know how quick progress is on each particular skill and therefore I can't estimate what a good gain would be over a month. So that's why I've been a bit vague on my goals because when you're new to anything, you're not educated enough or informed enough to know exactly how long something should take to achieve and how long you think you can achieve it. And ideally it's gonna be shorter than what the average amount of time would be. This month I've started to enjoy lifting more. I've been looking forward to getting to the sessions. Um, I'm enjoying the feeling of my legs when they're a bit fatigued and also just the new strength when like walking around, going upstairs, tumbling in gymnastics, they just feel more powerful which is obviously very satisfying and the more powerful they are the more fun they are to use. Now my ring strength has been getting better and better. Earlier I mentioned that I was concerned that perhaps getting stronger legs, getting heavier legs would mean that I would be getting worse on the rings because I'd be getting heavier and obviously the legs don't really play a part when you're up on the rings so it's kind of like dead weight. However, that's not been the case. I am getting heavier but I'm getting stronger on the rings. I almost got a Zarian about a week ago, my closest yet, and I think I'm this close now to getting it. So getting that will be a clear example that having heavier legs really doesn't affect your body weight strength. I think definitely, I'm probably getting bigger in my whole body as well. And I think it's just a result of obviously your body climatizing to your new weight. And um, since you're always pushing a heavier weight when you're on the rings, I think you're just gonna get stronger because you're getting used to dealing with that heavier weight, if that makes sense. If you ever have any concern about training your legs because you're on the rings and you just wanna be the best on the rings, uh, I'd say don't have any worries about that because it's not going to affect you badly. Sure, your legs need to get heavier, but you'll also just get stronger overall. Looking forward to the month to come. I'll start feeling like a respectable lifter when I hit, I think, 80 kilo snatch and 100 kilo clean and jerk. Because at the moment I still feel like uh, the weights I'm doing, most people would be able to do, even with bad form and I'll feel satisfied when I'm doing weights that are so heavy that you have to have good form to do them or you need to be just a beast. So the main goal for the next month is to get my cleans cleaner. Huh? So I'm enjoying this Olympic lifting journey and I'm really excited about the gains to come in February. This month I mainly focused on snatch and didn't have any worthy footage of clean and jerk to show. Over this month, the hang snatch became more comfortable, which helped focus on the brush, and hence improving my full snatch technique as well. I included this set of hang snatch to demonstrate how it's now becoming more comfortable. You can see though, in these sets where I did two hang snatches and then a full snatch, my brush was slightly off on the full snatch. This is definitely something I need to work on.
there were no PBs on my snatch this month. So here I was doing two reps at 55 kilos, while my personal best is 60 kilos. I'm also catching this very high, indicating that if I was comfortable with dropping more under the bar, I should be able to snatch a lot more weight. This was the heaviest I'd ever attempted for a straight leg snatch. This is more difficult than a regular snatch, as you must keep your legs straight once they are fully extended. I was working power jerks to increase my explosive power in the jerk and also to improve my balance. You notice I took a step on my first rep, which indicates a lack of balance. The push press is much more strength based than the power jerk as the only assistance legs provide is in the initial push. I'm certainly just in the process of getting familiar with this exercise and as such the weight is very light. Once I'm more accustomed to this, I intend on going much heavier to really start challenging myself. Last one. I was working with 10 kilos more than last month with these clean pulls. The main focus here is to brush the bar directly upwards and also fully shrugging my shoulders during the pull. I'm quite happy with these front squats. My form is pretty good with my chest staying upright during the whole movement. I didn't realize at the time, but this 100 kilo front squat was an impressive achievement as my best back squat at the time was just 101 kilos. They were almost equal. It's good. With these snatch deadlifts, the main thing I was concentrating on was trying to keep my chest up and not letting my butt raise faster than my shoulders. You can see each time my legs almost straighten out and then I bring my chest up, which is not ideal. I should be doing this simultaneously. These deadlifts were an interesting variation that really fatigued the lower back. You want to have a slight knee bend and of course have a strong arch in your lower back. That's it for month 6. Some solid progress on both the front and back squat, which will surely help my legs continue to grow. Next month, we're in for some exciting progress. I spent a lot of time working on the clean and jerk. I wore a weight belt for the first time ever. I got my kit off. And I even got a new haircut. You don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching and see you soon for month 7. I love Carlos's energy. He'll cheer you on for any set, whether it's a PB on, or just a standard set.